Hi, thanks for joining Anne Margaret Scrapping. Today we're going to be learning how to assemble a gingerbread man using the Stamping Up Stamps and the Stamping Up Punches. First thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and take a look at his face. What we did was we took the Stampin' Up Punch and we did a one inch circle. Then we have our half inch stamp right here and what we did was we just put some paper in just enough to give us almost about almost half not quite but when you stick it in it actually that's what gives him his smile and we used the crocodile and the 1 8 punch which is the very small one we used for his cheeks and his nose and then we just took a marker and gave him two dots for his eyes his body is the large tag and what we did was is we just took our corner rounder and we rounded off both the corners and for his different jellies we used the owl punch and we used the one right above the owl itself and as you can see we used different colors for that okay now for his arms and legs right here we used the modern word window and we used our corner punch again what we did was is we just barely stuck it in just enough so it would round it off and then we went ahead and snipped those off if you, if you actually stick it in as far as it'll go it'll actually make them a little too short now for his hat we just ended up taking a scrap piece of paper and made a triangle bent it over and again we used our owl punch the same circle that mentioned earlier and we just took a red marker and kind of went a little bit around it just to give it a little bit of definition and as you can see we just kind of bent the top over the candy cane is just a scrap piece of paper that we um, took a red marker and just kind of randomly gave it some red stripes and then here's some ribbon the it's the sweetest time of the year what we did was is we took again from the stamping up jolliest time of the year we colored in it's the time of the year and then we just took some random stamp and it made it become it's the sweet time of the year the white is one and a half square and the green is one and three fourths okay the cover is just your basic four and a half by five and a half with some green um, glued on top and our white pattern paper is a five and one eighths by four let's go ahead and start assembling what you're going to want to do I usually just put some glue along the back of it and I'm going to pick up one of the arms and whenever you do this you want to line this up so it's it goes flush against what is going to be eventually his shoulder and you can make the arms as long or as short as you think necessary then we're going to go ahead and the same thing with his legs however tall you want your little man to be we're going to go ahead and do that and oh I don't think I mentioned um, if I did I'm repeating myself because I'm old what you're going to do is you're going to take your white gel pen and just give him a W on each one of those. Okay. All right. And you want to put your glue on the back of his head. So when you glue it, he's going to sit right on top of there, just like that. And with his hat, again, put some glue on his hat. And then can bend his hat over if you want to. Ooh, his hat just fell off. His whole head. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, what I like to do is I like to put the glue behind his arm because I like to see the candy cane. And you want to kind of angle that candy cane so it's almost like a fishing pole type deal. Okay. And once you get that on there, we used the dimensions on his. You kind of put one kind of near his legs, and kind of near his head. Kind of position him on the card, kind of get him ready. 
and you might want to save your square for last because sometimes it's hard to line up that ribbon the way that you want it to be. Okay, you can either let his hat flop or you can glue it down, whichever you feel better. Okay, all right, and that's it. Pretty simple stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Happy punching.